Calling all Toronto Maple Leafs fans. Are you ready to be a part of the most passionate fan base in the NHL? If so, join Leafs Nation today and subscribe to our channel to experience the rush. We have some news for you. Morgan Reilly, the beloved defenseman and a key part of the team's core, needs to be more consistent down the stretch. Despite signing a new contract and becoming a strong offensive presence for the Maple Leafs on the back end, this season has been somewhat underwhelming for Reilly. He was out for a significant amount of time with a knee injury, but even before that, he has struggled offensively and defensively, making him a scapegoat for some of the team's less than stellar plays. Congratulations, you just won an excellent gift that will change your life, I'll show you what it is. As the first season of his new contract where his AAV is $7.5 million, many fans expected him to perform better than he has. With only three goals this season and a 5-on-5 five -five shooting percentage of 8.7%, his lowest number since 2017-18, it's apparent that he needs to find a consistent level of play fast as the playoffs approach. While Reilly had a decent GF% percent and SCF% percent last season, everything else was less than satisfactory. Timothy Liljegren and Rasmus Sandin were at the top of each category last season, and Sandin was once again at the top this season before he was dealt to the Washington Capitals. Really is once again in the lower half of the team's production, which isn't ideal at all. In regards to his results on shots, you expect someone in Really's position to get pucks on net. For some time, Really has been extremely patient and isn't thinking quickly when the puck is on his stick. When he attempts to shoot, it would either be blocked or he would pass it off as the lane and opportunity for a shot would be gone due to the slow movement. Head coach Sheldon Keefe needs to find him a consistent defensive partner. Really thrives on being paired with a player that can play a sound and steady two-way game. The obvious choice is to pair him back up with TJ Brody, who he has played over 1,900 minutes together at 5-on-5 five five with and has a 57.14 GF percent. They were reunited against the Avalanche and really played very well. However, the additions of Jake McCabe, Luke Shen, and Eric Gustafson complicate things as Keefe has been going with seven defensemen as of late. McCabe has also shown to have great chemistry with Brody as a strong shutdown tandem, as that pairing is also a possibility. As a loyal Toronto Maple Leafs fan, you know how important it is to have Reilly back to his best form, especially as the playoffs approach. Let's hope he finds his consistency soon and delivers the same level of performance that made him a fan favorite in the past. Go Leafs go! I didn't forget your gift, it's in the first link, in the description be quick.